Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Well. Hey. Yahweh. Thank you, Yahweh. When the little bee, the buzzy bee, tastes the nectar and stops and rests on the flower, it gets covered in pollen. And that's exactly how it is in Mystic Union. We as the, the bee, we rest on the flower of the presence of the beloved. And as we're drinking that nectar of his presence, we get covered in the pollen and the pollen is the mysterion. We get covered in the mysteries and we become administrators of that mystery and we spread those mysteries as we fly around <laughs> from nectar to nectar from whack to whack, from joy to joy, we carry the particles of another world. Uh, and we fertilize everything around us. We impregnate it with truth. And the truth sets us free. Wow. So we're talking about the Mysterion at this event, Mysterion, the mystical, the biblical word for secret. Hang on a second, I'm so whacked, I've got to pull out of it. Oh, otherwise I won't be able to talk. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Paul said, if we're out of our minds, out of our minds is for God's glory. So we've got to be out of our minds and in here, in the interior, my beloved waits. And the Mysterion is within us. Christ, the mystic secret of God, the mystical secret, the Mysterion of God, Christ in you, in whom are hidden all riches and all treasures. Yeah. Woo. So we as people of Mysterion are people who go in to shape the out. Mm -hmm. For within us is the treasure in the field. Within us is the unsearchable riches of Christ. Within us is the future, past and present. He put eternity. He put eternity in your heart. Mm -hmm. He didn't put eternity in your mind. Your mind is just a processor of data for this world. I need to eat. I need to sleep. I need to go to the bathroom. That's what it does. I need to go shopping. I need to wash. You don't get it there. The natural mind cannot receive the things of the spirit. It's from here where your authentic being exists. The authentic being is what watches the thoughts. Here's the memories. Here's the thoughts. You are not your thoughts. You are not, th you are the one that says, why am I thinking that? You are the consciousness and awareness and the presence that's behind all of that. Mm -hmm. So we are the people who learn to live in presence within. In mystic union, we recollect, we join ourselves to the Lord. It's called recollect, the prayer of recollection because you recollect all these fragments of you around this union that's within you and you plunge into what they call the divine essence or the divine ocean or the cloud of unknowing, which is in you for the glory fills the temple, which is your body. So sometimes when you go into that inner state of union and bliss, it gets harder to function sometimes with your thought processes or other external acts because you are strongly engaged in love, mm -hmm. in the sweetness, feasting at his table. 
and he fills your cup until it overflows. And you are out of your mind, but in ecstasis, ecstasy, ecstasy. <laughs> uh, thank you, Yahweh. Now, I consider that to be the highest gift of all when we are people who can walk in mystical union, oneness, oneing, Julian, Julian of Norwich called it oneing. We're oneing with God. We are entering into oneness with the frequency of love the frequency of the divinity and we are in harmonic resonance with the spirit of life mm -hmm. that is where our higher consciousness opens our brainwave shifts from beta which is your busy brain into alpha theta delta gamma epsilon all these other waves start to open up which are higher dimensional and your mind and heart synchronize and it's called heart locking they lock in together into a synchronistic pattern called coherence, where your body comes into balance, your blood pressure, your heart rate, respiration, and the hemispheres start to activate and synchronize together with your heart, which creates energy, which creates frequency, which creates another overshadowing, another covering, which is what I believe Peter had when Peter walked down the street. And they waited just for him to walk past to be healed so that his shadow is said his shadow was the shadow of heaven so that's how we're learning to live we're learning to live in union and it's a practice we're learning every day to turn back into union because we forget we forget that we are permanently united with christ permanently we go off in our minds, which is the prodigal. <laughs> the prodigal is not about a person. It's about your mind wandering from the feast. Your mind's gone off with the little piggies in the field. Your mind's gone off into the world when it could be feasting on the lamb. It could be in the embrace of Papa God. And that's where we want to live. We want to live in the embrace of Papa God. In Christ, in God. The secret of your life, the mysterium of your life now is you are wrapped up in Christ, in the Father. And one of the things we're coming into in this generation is an unparalleled revelation of the Father, the source. Greater works than these will you do because I go to my Father. So there's something about going to the Father that releases the greater works. There's something about going in Christ, in God, that releases a greater capacity god our father the spirit of glory and we engage the source of life and the source of knowledge so as mystics or people of the mysterion we are people that have direct contact with the source we are in god in christ in the mystery and we are those who are administrators of the mystery. So I said yesterday, uh, 1 Corinthians 4, 1, we are stewards, administrators of the mysteries, the mystic secrets of God. So that's what it means to be a, a priest towards humanity. You are releasing from beyond the veil into creation the mysteries of love, the mysteries of our inclusion, the mysteries of the Trinity, the mysteries of the, the cosmos, the stars, the galaxies, the mysteries of his heart. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 1.23 in the GBS translation, George Barker Stevens, I mentioned yesterday, we are his mystical body, which is filled and penetrated with his life. Filled and penetrated with his life. Filled and penetrated with his life we are the mystical body wow you could turn that into a mantra and or a meditation and really get whacked off it we are i am his mystical body filled and penetrated with his life we are his mystical body filled and penetrated with, with his life and as you think about being penetrated by life and filled with life you become what you behold what you honor, you will attract. What you engage, you will become. As a man thinks in his heart, 
so he is. His mystical body, his mystical body, which is filled and penetrated with his life. Wow. Mystical body. We are, you can even say this, I am his mystical body. I am, we are his mystical body. I am, we are his mystical body, which is filled and penetrated, filled and penetrated with his life. I am his mystical body, his mysterion body, filled and penetrated with his life. We are his mystical body, filled, 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 filled and penetrated with his life. That's how you practice engage in a verse, what we're doing right now. We're taking one verse and we're unlocking the encoding DNA within it and framing up over ourselves another covering, another overshadowing, and the truth is setting us free. Is setting us free into the unlimited newness of life. That's how we use verses as gateways and doors into higher consciousness, expanded states, intoxication, ecstasy beyond ourselves. So we are not a buzzy bee that floats from flower to flower. We penetrate the flower until we're coated in the pollen. We're coated in it. We're not bouncing around in beta waves. We are penetrating deeply in alpha, delta, epsilon, gamma, epsilon, uh, theta, sorry. And we are, we are being coated and transfigured by the flower. We are becoming fertile by the flower. Okay. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So intoxication is the natural condition of union because we are one with the happy trinity who live in what theologians call celebrative constancy, constant celebration. Uh, one translation says total celebration is in your presence. In his presence is fullness of joy. We have the glad message, 1 Timothy 1.11. In the Rotherham translation says, we have the glad message of the glory of the happy God. Most translations say blessed God, but blessed means to be made blissful. So we've been unified with the happy God. We've been unified with the blissful God. We've been unified with the one that's in celebrative constancy, which is why we are out of our minds sometimes in ecstasy. As mystics and people of the Mysterion, you will learn over time to drink deep, as it says in Song of Solomon, drink deep, O lovers, until you are drunk on love. Now, that, that wine that we drink is not foolishness. It is wisdom's wine. It is wisdom's wine. And as we drink this wine, as we give ourselves and we turn into the wine cellar, and we drink our fill until we are drunk on love. And we enter into the house of wine. His banner over me. He's taken me to his banqueting table. And the banqueting table means house of wine. So he takes me into the wine room. And there we are drunk on love. But this drink is not foolishness. It is taste and see. It is illumination wine. It is the DNA of the divine. It is the blood of Jesus, which is the encoding of his thoughts and intents and heart throughout space and time. And this wine then becomes a part of us. So we didn't learn it. We drank it. And the method of drinking the wine is love. The glass is love. And we drink the wine. And as we drink the wine, it becomes a part of us. And we have knowledge through intimacy. So mysterion is relational knowledge. It is not head knowledge. You don't read it in a book and go, I know the mysterions. The mysterion of God comes through your inclusion in the Trinity's love. 
your inclusion in the in the divine dance, your inclusion that is the father's good pleasure is the source good pleasure to give you the kingdom to give you the kingdom so it's their pleasure to be an overflowing god in his at his right hand of pleasures forevermore illumination and participation inclusion is the goal of the trinity so it is his desire to share with you the mysteries of the kingdom the reason many people do not experience the mysteries of the kingdom is because they're not engaging in the state of union. It's in union that you unlock the mysteries of the kingdom. In other words, you go through the gateway of the presence. And in the present moment is fullness. In the presence, there is joy. In the presence, there is mysteries. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. We hey, hey. Wow, 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 wow. Oh. Mm. Mm. Okay. So we've been talking about the mysteries, and it says in Mark 4 11, to you it is given to know, experience the mysteries, the mystical secrets of the kingdom. So it's been given to you to know and experience the mysteries, the mystical secrets of the kingdom. This is why it's been such a, a season we've been in in the church of real, I guess, idolatry, where we've replaced the presence with the program and we've replaced intimacy with teaching. But the Lord is wooing back his bride, saying, come back into the chambers, my beloved. Come back into my cloud filled chambers. Come and let us drink until we are drunk on love. Come, let us feast on our love for each other. And he is causing there to be a mystical awakening within the ecclesia. He is causing there to be a company of burning hearts whose testimony is this. Our fire will never die because the fire is not fueled by the earth or meetings. It's not fueled by, by pastors or anything else. It's fueled by union with the consuming fire itself, which is God, the source the father of glory, the father of light. Our God is a consuming fire and we unify ourselves with that fire and that flame, which already burns within you. And as you unify with it, it begins to ripple out through your body and ripple out through your consciousness, be transformed, metamorphosis, repentance, metanoia oneing with the mind of god it even begins to move into our body and our body starts to have hope our body starts to have hope our dna starts to have hope and there is heat and light and bliss and glory and grace emanating out of your interior chamber beginning to resonate outward through your body so that you become a carrier of the flame you become a messenger of fire, a messenger of winds, ruach, the breath of life. His life breath is in you and his life breath begins to move in you and around you and through you, surrounded, penetrated with his life. Oh, and we have to learn to delight ourselves in the lord mm -hmm. we have to learn to delight ourselves the degree that we delight ourselves is the degree he can give the desires of your heart delight yourself in the lord and he will give you you he will give you the desires of your heart there's a place of union that god has called us into where we are in him and he is in us we are complete in love. The way of Mysterion is the way of love. <laughs>